Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing the Ipsy Ultimate for the month of November 2020. If you're unfamiliar, Ipsy Ultimate is a $50, $50 beauty subscription where you get eight sample, no, eight full size and four sample size products each month from Ipsy and it is $50. Now, after December, this is going away and then they're introducing the Ipsy X, I believe, um, which will be quarterly, which I was kind of hoping they would switch to quarterly. So they're getting rid of the ultimate and now they're going to be calling it the X. And when you get the X, you won't get the plus, I believe. So similar kind of to what BoxyCharm does. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here. So if you're a sub box lover like me, then go ahead and subscribe and let's get in the box. So the card doesn't say anything this month. Did it say something last month? I can't really remember. And honestly, I can't be bothered to go through my app and look at all the different prices. So we're just gonna walk through everything here. The first thing that I am pulling out is a set of sheet masks. This is a lot. So it is six. Did they mean to do that? Six different sheet masks from Honey Jarrett and they're all the same. They are the Super Beauty masks in rows. So six of those. Then this is already like opened on its own. This, oh, this is what I picked. So this was the selection I made. This was the Byro New York Bell Pepper Serum. This is what it looks like there. Super pretty packaging. It's a fast absorbing fluid serum that intensely hydrates and retains moisture for a healthy looking glowing complexion. I mean, this doesn't sound like something I want for my skin, but honestly, the selections weren't that good. I'll put them somewhere up on the screen so you can see what the choices were, but the choices weren't amazing, but I went with the Biro because I know it's expensive. <laughs> I don't know. The next thing out is from Philorga, and this is their Youth Performance Optum Eyes. It's an intensive revitalizing three-in-one eye contour cream. Now, I'm not gonna open this because it's like super packaged, like with plastic and everything, and I might put this in a future giveaway just because I have so many um, eye creams right now, so I might save this one for later. Ooh, uh, then I'm excited about this. This is from Nova, Nova, no, Nova, Nomad, and this is X Toscana, and this is their palette. Um, it's an intense eyeshadow palette. So that's what the packaging looks like. I've had a Nomad palette before and I really love the colors. These are so gorgeous. Now they don't perform amazing, but maybe it's because I had more of a muddled colored palette before. Actually they do, oh wow, they look at that. Look how creamy that is. Um, I'm gonna, not gonna lie, I have swatches on here from the video before that I forgot to take off. But that's what it looks like. It looks gorgeous. This was a much improved compared to the last palette that I tried from them. A little bit of fallout, but honestly, super excited to try it. I still really like the other palette, but it was um, a much more like muted tone palette. Then one of the samples we have is from H2O. This is the Hydration Oasis Refreshing Gel Moisturizer. Then there is this Crabtree and Evelyn Raw is Instincts Scent, just a mini perfume. Again, I'm not gonna open it. I don't really use a lot of perfumes, so I'll probably put this in a future giveaway, but again, another sample. Then from Real Her, this is their Nothing Is Impossible brush. I think this is, might be a concealer brush or a foundation brush, like the flat ones but that is what it looks like. Then from Space Case, we have a highlighter maybe? Yeah, I already I think I already own this highlighter, so I'm gonna put this in a giveaway, but it's a pretty color. Then from Milk Makeup, there is the Matcha Detoxifying Mask. I think I already own this as well, so again, we'll probably put this in a future giveaway. Um, but this is what the mask looks like. Then from Illamasqua, we have a clear gloss. I'm curious though, does it smell? Nope, no scent, just a clear gloss. I'm not gonna swatch it since it's clear, but I love a good gloss. Then we also have a MAC Cream Lipstick in Sweet Sakura. Now, again, I think I'm not, I don't want more reds. I have so many red lipsticks and I just don't really wear red. So I think again, I'll probably put this in a future giveaway because it's just not really, my cup of tea right now. And then we have the Pure Lease Illuminating BB Cream SPF 30. This is my shade. Oh, this isn't the shade Fair. I think this is my shade. They've given me the wrong shade before, but I do think that this is actually my shade. I don't think I like this when I've used it previously, so uh, I don't know, this is not my favorite. And then we have the Glam Bag, and this is what it looks like this month. So that is everything in the Ultimate. Not my favorite. I'm not in love with the Ultimate, to be honest, but I do really, I'm really excited about the palette, and I do like the Biro. 
Um, I like the lip gloss. The sheet masks are good too. So there's definitely some good stuff in here, um, but it's not my favorite. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you get the ultimate, what did you choose? And what do you think of the change? Do you think it's good that they're doing the Ipsy X and turning this one off or <laughs> that's not what it's called, canceling it? I personally think it's a good thing, but definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.